Churches and shelters open their doors today to serve up a hot Thanksgiving meal to those who need it. Bree Buckley has that story for us tonight. Great meal, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. At St. Herman House in Ohio City, you guys are doing a good job. Thanksgiving Day is just like any other. Just seeing everybody happy and uh, knowing that they don't have to go out hungry. And that's a big plus. Volunteers on hand. And then have this serving up a hot meal. We are like a big family. We're taking care of a, a huge house, um, you know, feeding people, um, welcoming people into our home. And, and so it is. It's a, it's a huge family for us right now. Director Kirk Reese says they are on pace to serve about 65,000 meals this year, providing breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. It's a trick, you know. Carl. I can't tell my secret. Carl Cook is the director of food service, using his craft in the kitchen to connect with the guests they serve, at times helping connect them to resources. You get to build a trust, build some respect, and what it happens is once you do that, you'll start to build those relationships to find out what's really going on. You know, we have mental health. You know, we have different kind of issues that run into our citizens. Carl says he struggled with alcoholism and was homeless at one point himself. Now sober for nearly 20 years, he's hoping to use his story to inspire those he feeds. You want to inspire others every day, you know, and that's why the relationship is so important. Because uh, when we talk about measuring success, no matter who it is, everyone has different measurements of success. And as we realize uh, their success, we walk with them, you know, and that's why the relationship in the food is the attraction. St. Herman House is always in need of volunteers and donations. They have a big coat drive coming up on December 18th to help those in need stay warm during these colder months. I posted more information about how you can get involved in this story on our website, WKYC.com. In Cleveland, Bree Buckley, 3 News.